Where would a teacher like you get that kind of money? He knew how to win the game. I've seen you be half a million dollars off. You've been up two and a half million dollars. But the rules... I don't like to lose. I will kill your entire bloodline. Just changed. What's going on? Time to get away from me. I've never done anything like this before. you got to meet me. You understand the gravity of your situation. The Gambler. I came to play. Rated R. Let's get to the actual football yeah. game and how good this game really was for 2 o'clock on a Monday The Miami Matt, Beach Bowl. I feel confident in saying this was the best Miami Beach Bowl of all time. Ever. Oh, this was the first one? Yeah. Okay, I apologize for that. Turnover is a story in this game. Opening drive, fumble, BYU, Memphis recovers. Memphis ended the season as one of the best defenses in the nation, statistically speaking, and that sets up this. Paxton Lynch. To Keywan Malone, 33-yard touchdown. Tigers up 7-0 early. All right, five seconds to play in the opening quarter. BYU down by three. Christian Stewart intercepted by Derek Howard. That sets up this. Lynch pulls his way into the end zone. 24-14 Memphis. And this is still in the first half. Lynch, he's intercepted by Alani Fue. He thought he had a touchdown, but he steps out of bounds. Also had a block in the back, but take another look. Oh, wow. He's tipping it to himself. Absolutely. Tip drill. BYU gets the ball on the Memphis 15. That turnover sets up a touchdown for BYU. Let's seek it. Cuts the lead to 28-24. Now to the fourth quarter. As I mentioned, Memphis looking for their first 10-win season since the 1930s. In fact, the first 10-win season since FDR's second term in office. Lynch intercepted, and BYU is in business. That set up a field goal. Now, ensuing kickoff, Joe Craig. Come on, Craig. How are you going to get fired on your day off? <laughs> Fumble, BYU recovers. Now, let's see it. He's dragging tacklers into the end zone. Seven yards goal. We're tied at 38. Now Memphis has the ball. Next drive, Lynch. Intercepted by Zach Stout. Pick six. Tigers. BYU, keep BYU Cougars on top, 45-38. Got the nicknames all screwed up there. For Tigers, a Cougars. It this happens. game is crazy, Matt. Both cats. Last chance for Memphis. Lynch scrambling. Finding Malone end zone. On fourth and four, we're tied at 45. Now in the overtime. Stewart to Jordan Leslie. If this, no! I mean, that would have no! been the catch maybe of the latter half of the college football season. Better than Odell Beckham? No, 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 no not better than Odell. Well, well, I don't know. The degree of difficulty, I would say, is higher. But they ruled it incomplete. And they went under the hood, took another look at it. It's an incomplete pass. And the official said, you know what? That is an incomplete pass. Now, Memphis needs this kick to go to extend it, and they get it from 55 yards away. He had missed from 55 yards by a hair earlier. This time, he's true. In fact, it would have been good from 60. Now, Paxton Lynch. Roderick Proctor. Touchdown, Memphis, so they take the lead. BYU needs a touchdown to extend. Christian Stewart, who filled in all through much all season for Taysom Hill. Kicked off, ball game over. Now this is where we had to start getting ready for TV. Memphis celebration, celebration. Now let, let's see where, where things got a little sideways. Right? Okay, right there. World star! Two teams getting after it. Uh, that, that's a good old fat. That's a fight. Yeah. I mean, their punch is thrown. I, I want to see if, if, if there's any assistant coaches. He's trying to pull them off a little bit. There we go. There's yeah, a good shot right here. Some, some extra career. Oh, now see, that's not. The kid's got his helmet off. That's dangerous. Yeah. Mm. They're throwing bows, that's for sure. You don't think they're out of energy after playing those two overtime? Well, you would think. Now, see, there, there's some. I don't know if that's in this. That look, that could be like a player. It's always the strength and conditioning coach that comes in there and starts yanking guys off. Yeah.